HTML select dropdowns and multi-select are ways to provide user input fields that allow for predetermined options. If we're using these fields for critical information, we need to make sure that they're working inside of our tests. Starting off with a playwright test, I want to say that every time I go to the select page, I want to make sure that I should be able to select an option from that select dropdown. To do that, I'm going to first await this command, but I'm going to say that on the page object, I want to use the select option method, where the first argument I'm going to pass in is the ID of that select dropdown itself. For the second argument, I want to actually pass in the value that I want to select where when I pass in this value, I want to make sure I'm not passing in the label, but the actual value itself. So in this instance, I want to say I want to select the value of ginger. Next, I want to know how to get the value of that select option. That way I can make sure that that select option is actually working. So next, I'm going to create a constant and I'm going to call that selected value. And I'm going to set that equal to await and then I'm going to use the page object where I'm going to say I want to eval where what it's going to do, it's going to allow us to evaluate the selector that we find and we can actually use the node inside of the HTML to actually grab its value. So using the same selector, I'm going to say that I want to evaluate my spices select single. Then I'm going to pass in my second argument, which is going to be a function where for that function, I'm going to receive an argument of element where that's going to be the node that I can interact with, where I'm saying that I want to access the elements value, but then we can use our expect function from playwright test, where I'm going to say that I want to expect that my selected value is going to contain my ginger. And now if we run that test, we can see that Playwright is going to open up the browser in this instance, and it's going to select that dropdown, and we can see that it asserted correctly. Next, we want to also test the multi-select. So I'm starting a new test that says it should select multiple options from the multi-select dropdown. Now to start, we can use the same select option method, where I'm going to paste that right in, but this time, instead of just ginger, I want to select both ginger and paprika. So I'm going to pass that in as an array so I can select multiple values. Also, we want to also make sure that our selector is updated. So in our instance, this is going to be spices select multi. Now this is where it becomes a little bit more complicated than our first example, where I'm going to first copy and paste our selected value line, but this time I'm going to change it to selected values as ultimately we want to grab multiple values. Next, we want to make sure that we update that selector, but instead of targeting this single value, we want to grab all of the values. So luckily we can use the property of selected options on that element. Now, when we're using selected options, it's going to pass back all of the element nodes instead of the actual value. So we want to grab the value of each of those selected options. So first we can use array.from where we're going to turn this node list into an array where we can say that we want to map through each one of these options. And we're going to say for each option that we want to retrieve the option.value. Now, finally, we can use that expect function again, where we're going to pass in our selected values, but this time we're going to use to equal, where we're going to say that we want that array of selected values to equal the values that we passed in to select option. And again, if we try to run these tests, Playwright is going to open this up inside of a browser and it's going to go through and it's going to select all of our options. So in review, when dealing with selects, we really have two different types of selects where we have our dropdown where you can select a single value, but we also have our multi-select where we can select multiple values. In order to both select an option value and get the value, first we can use the page.select option method where we're going to first tell Playwright what value that we want to select, whether it's a single string value or an array of strings. Next, we're going to use the eval statement where we're going to say that we want to grab that particular HTML element where we're going to grab the value in the case of a single select, which because that value is going to be a string, we can make sure that it is equal to that particular string. But then for a multi-select, we're going to use that same page.eval method, but this time we're going to look for all the selected options. And because that's coming in as a node list, we're going to first turn that into an array where we're going to map through each one of those options and grab that string value, where finally we're going to use expect to make sure that that selected values array is equal to the array that we're passing into our select. 